Hello, once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be reading Steel Ball Run, Jojo Bizarre Adventure, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. We're going to get straight into it. Let me know if you guys want more, like, commentary on what I'm reading, or you would prefer if I just get into the story, because I think that's what I'm going to do for this episode. We're going to get straight into it. This might be a little sudden, but I'd like to introduce a story in a newspaper from a certain European country. Dated April 23rd, 1890. In that country, there was a boy named Marco. He was nine years old. The boy's family was from a line of servants to the aristocrats. Marco was also to serve under a baron named Rippy, and his job would be cleaning hats and shoes. When he was about to leave, his parents, his father, told the nine-year-old Marco, this job Job will bring you happiness as long as you stay humble and earnest. Every morning Marco got up earlier than everybody else and shined the shoes and brushed the hats of the Baron and the guests. However, weeks after taking service, suddenly the country's military police broke into the estate and Marco was arrested. The Baron was plotting a revolution against the king of the country. The king's assassination was prevented but treason is the most serious crime. The Baron's partners in the plot and the Baron's family were put on trial and sentenced to execution. From the evidence, the assassination plot was planned in the estate, and Marco was seen as part of the Baron's family, because he was shining the shoes of the Baron and his partners every morning. There is no doubt that he knew about it. The execution method was beheading. The decision of the state was absolute. I've got the image, at least the image of the spin, like the dancing image of a spinning ballet dancer in the wind. Whoa, whoa, it's spinning, Gyro. Whoa, Gyro, weren't you watching? You didn't see me? You didn't see me just now? Why were you watching? It was great. It really spun. The cork. Why do I have to watch you all day? So, you really did it? Do it again then. Huh, that, that's funny. Where did the cork go? The rocks are behind me. It shouldn't fly out. Where is it? It shouldn't disappear like that. Pop, pop. What was that sound? Where was it? Ugh, it's a little damp. It's falling down my back. Was it really up the horse's bum? Johnny, there's someone over there. <laughs> I think he's planning to run all night? Unthinkable. The horse would just get in an accident in the dark. He might come over here. You just said that this route was full of weirdos. Johnny, did you bring a weapon? When you say weirdos, you mean guys like that Miss Robinson, right? That was by chance. You think so? We're champion candidates. If you have any weapons, get them out. If he comes near us, we'll drive him back. Uh, just in case, I did bring a gun, but I've never fired it before. Gyro's baggage. What's this? A coat of arms? A letter holder with a coat of arms on it? Did he steal it? A coat of arms? is a treasure that can't be held without permission by someone like a lord in Europe. Eh? Were you taught to look through other people's stuff while growing up? I, I wasn't looking through, but you... Who are you? You're not from this country. You should stick to opening your own luggage. Gyro Zeppeli didn't say anything more on the subject, but I wanted to know. Why was Gyro able to use the steel ball? I wanted to know about his roots. Was Gyro trying to save that boy all by himself? How were Gyro and the boy related? All I can say about this is that the time that Gyro answered these questions would come soon enough, when he hits the harshest points of the race. He really is coming over here after all. Huh? Looks like the balloons have landed. This might have become a race interference allowed route. Never let him come near. Alright, stop there. Stop right there. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. I told you to stop right there. Don't shoot. I mean no harm. I came here because I saw the fire. Meaning harm or no harm. I'll judge that after you leave. I, I was bitten. This is bad. Real bad. I was squatting down and taking a dump and my fingers were bitten. Two fingers on my left hand. Hey, what are you getting off your horse for, you asshole? Don't make me tell you to stay away more than once. Johnny, did he say what he was bitten by? He hasn't said it yet. A poisonous lizard. A yellow and black striped one. When I was trying to wipe my ass, it was hiding behind the shit. Please! Give me some of your fire. I want to burn the wound and clean it. Might be a fake wound. The lizard's a spotted salamander. Once its venom s circulates the whole body, you die. Well, that's too bad. Wait for the rescue group. What are you doing? What are you talking about? Would they come at night? I'll be dead before dawn. After I cut off the poison, I want to clean it. Give me some fire. Are you going to let him die? I don't know, but I don't trust him. Strange guy. I won't let you come near us, but I'll, I'll give you a little piece of wood. You go ahead and start your own campfire and clean it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What are you doing? It's an anesthesia. Anesthesia. Since I'm going to cut off the poison part of the skin, I need a painkiller. I invented this way myself. It's out of this world. Don't ever try this. I always let the girls strangle me. Just before I pass out. What's he talking about? No idea. What's all this? <laughs> 
What the hell? He tore out his wound. Lizard really did get him. Shit. I really didn't have to see that kind of thing right before going to sleep. Here. Here's your fire. Just get the hell out of here, damn it. It's not moving anymore. Yeah, of course. You'd definitely die if you do that. He might have really bought it by strangling so much. Hey, wake up. Hey, I'm sorry I was so hard on you when you were bitten, but we don't want you lying there all night either. Just get up and get out of here. He didn't really die, did he? Gyro, I found his name on the racer list. Andre Boom Boom, number C450. He's in uh, 10th place in the first stage. My boot. And this Boom Boom. Wait a minute. 9th place is Benjamin Boom Boom. 11th place is LA Boom Boom. The same last name here. Here's three of them. He's not alone. A, a family. Okay, folks. This is one of the best references to music in the whole of JoJo. You either know JoJo's Bizarre Adventure or you just stumbled across this video. The first thing you learn about JoJo is that it's gay. The second thing you learn about JoJo is it's amazing references to music. Now listen, this has to be one of my favorite references in the whole of JoJo. It's a family of three, Andre, LA, and Benjamin Boom Boom. And it's a reference to Andre 3000, whose real name is Andre Lauren Benjamin. Obviously, Lauren shortened down to LA. It's a tie to his whole name in a family, so it's really good. Comment down below your favorite music reference in JoJo. Is my bro Andre dead? Dad, do you think Big Brother really is dead? Shut up, you idiot. Men don't cry. Put that gyro zeppelin. He carefully didn't approach Andre to the very end. Andre's giving it all he's got, but he finally touched Andre's knife. He didn't directly touch Andre, but he touched the blood stained knife. Who the hell are they? There's two guys coming right at us. They're a team. They're a three-man team aiming for the 50 million. If they're gonna charge at us. Johnny, shoot the guy on the left with your gun. I'll take the one on the right. What the? My foot. The foot? What happened? Jairo, what is that? The shape of your foot? I don't know. The skin of my left foot's like steel. Damn it, the pain's incredible too. It's slowly creeping up my foot. It feels like a block in my foot. What happened to you? Did that Andre Boom Boom over there do it? Or did the two guys closing in do it? It has to be. I don't know what was done to me. Something's going wrong in my body. I kicked his knife away with my foot. Some kind of poison? Or he might have infected me with some sort of disease. Here they come. Just take the left. I got the right. Don't let them get any closer. Eh? What? Gyro! Johnny, what the hell are you doing? The gun broke. All of a sudden. It's not an old gun. I haven't used it much. But it suddenly fell apart and it's being pulled. The gun's being pulled towards you. What is this? Into my skin? Gyro, even the knife is moving your way. But the Andre, he's not moving. You think he safely cleaned out the lizard venom? God, you've been noisy for a while. And LA, how long are you going to stick to my ass? I told you to go to the other side of those guys. That was our plan. Go in from both sides and that's the end of our plan god you're slow just like your mom do you know who else is slow just like that woman who left home and became a our mom is a stork, right? Big brother said so. Our mom is a stork. Do I look like a stork? <laughs> Shut up. Hurry up and get around those guys. That knife is iron. Those gun pots burrowing into your skin are iron too. Maybe the iron is being pulled to you. There's iron in blood too. Could they be controlling iron in that way? <laughs> Still full. It, it got ground up mid-air. First place is dad. Second place is brother Andre. Third place is me. If we do a one, two, three finish, the total prize money will be big. It'll be big when you add them all up. Uh, how much do you get when you add them up? 55.1 million dollars, you idiot. Jaru, the steel ball was gone in mid-air. The steel ball is iron too. But how would you grind iron? Who the hell are these guys? We're surrounded, Gyro. They're beginning to circle around us. These guys are completely different. Not like that Miss Robinson guy. They're not like him. He was breeding insects in his eyes and controlling them. The difference between that kind, those guys have a serious something and they showed up in the race. What do you mean a serious something? I don't know. I would like to know, but I got absolutely no clue. Hey Jairo, that crazy guy woke up. Brother Andre, big brother came too. Is the poison gone? Johnny, you see that? That Andre boom boom. What was that just now? Uh, what? I don't see it anymore. Anyway, Jairo, your foot, the bleeding is getting worse than before. On the pot's bar, deeper? I know it's gotten worse after getting surrounded by them. This is a team attack. The closer I approach these guys, the stronger the effect this iron seems to have on my body. If they get right next to us, these might go straight through my body. Johnny, you okay over there? Yeah, I'm alright. I guess it's connected to touching it, right? After you touch the knife with his blood on it? Damn, we're completely surrounded. All three are beginning to circle us. Hey, yo, LA, huh? Can you do 
this? Nostrils both flat. Nostrils both flat. Whoa, that's awesome. Brother Andre, how do you do that? Dumbass. I won't tell you. You won't be able to do it for the rest of your life. My ear can go into my ear hole too. Ears all flat too. You can't do this. Whoa, that's awesome. Hey, you guys. Who is going to close in on those guys and settle this? Am I going to do this? The guy on the horse. He might have more guns. He's all out. Besides, even if he did, would it matter? Then I'll go, Dad. Those guys didn't give me some fire right away. I was this close from, from letting that lizard venom run through my whole body. I'm gonna get my revenge. Hey, look. He took out that other steel ball. There's two in all. He threw that at the Indian and got a penalty in the first stage. Gyro. <laughs> It'll be the same. Doesn't he think it'll reach Big Brother without the iron running out? I guess he'll throw it again. He doesn't know. Andre's the most talented in the Boom Boom family. Let's go. Our family will be the first in the race. It won't reach, dumbass. Huh? Haha. <laughs> so you're throwing it differently this time. It's still the same. It'll never make it to me. It won't reach me, you dumbass. I'll charge in and rip your guts out. Looks like they only have influence on iron. A rock can be shot. A rock. It's a hit. Johnny, get your stuff on your horse. We have to leave this place. There's two more left. These guys are simply bizarre. Let's go. Ah, it hurts. After we got away and gained some distance from those guys, the damage is getting lighter. My foot is returning to normal. It might not be fully healed though. What kind of trick is this? Are all those guys really using something like a poison? Poison or defense? More of a curse than a trick, I think. That's all I can figure. Those guys first made contact with me, and all three of them surrounded me before closing in. It looks like when you are in the middle of all three of those guys, it creates a powerful attack. A curse that attracts iron, like putting magnets close together. Anyway, it's nighttime, but we can't help that. We have to get ahead of them. The destination is the desert. The destination in this desert is the water hole, 50 kilometers ahead. It hurts! Oh god! Shit! What a bastard! That gyro Zeppelin. There's a hole in brother's... Uh, there's a hole in brother's Andre's stomach. Whoa, the hole's bigger than your belly button. Ah, those guys are getting away. I won't let you run, you pigs. They're too far, Dad. Plus, those bullets are lead. If it was iron, the gun's body might have pulled them in and hit. I know that. Since when did you become Mr. Know-it-all? Don't talk as if you know with that crummy brain of yours. Hey, Andre, move a little to the right. To the right. <laughs> ah, shithead. That'll do it. Let me see your wound, Andre. What the... What? This is a pretty small hole. When I was young, I fell off a cliff, tore off my lower jaw, and I walked five kilometers back home. I think I might die, Dad. That bastard, I'll make him pay. I'll get my revenge. Yeah, we'll finish him. We'll kill those two guys, and we'll reach the water hole 50 kilometers ahead faster than anyone else. If we get there first, we can destroy the only water hole. The other races that'll come by later won't have any drinking water, which means they'll be wiped out. <laughs> <laughs> but how are we gonna catch up with those two guys? Those guys are champion candidates. We're attacking them like this because we can't catch up to them easily, right? Oh, here we go. Our family's smart ass made a comment. Shit for brains. Who said we're gonna chase them? We'll let the guy behind us chase Gyra, Zeppeli, and Johnny Joestar. He'll take care of them for us. And behind? Who's the guy behind us? Who is it? The guy that's been tracking us. Out of the 3,000 something races, there's somebody who's found only my footprints and has been tracking me since this morning. I knew all about this. You mean like dad's hoof prints right here? There's such a guy? Who is he? I can't tell from the view here. It's probably a sheriff. Possibly Mountain Tim. I heard he's friendly with the sheriff. Mountain Tim. Wow. Fourth place in the first stage. The cowboy everybody looks up to. And we're going to use that fact against him with our power of iron control. Putting iron inside your face and changing its shape. Dad, what are you planning to do to Mountain Tim? Ah, now I understand Dad's thinking. Heh, <laughs> that's definitely a surefire way. We were looking for mines in the cursed mountain in the desert, which was despised by local Indians, and we gained this power. The Indians said bad luck would come to us, but we've only became happy. We'll eliminate anyone who's in our way, and the Boom Boom family will run as the leader. I was just about thinking that I should continue tracking next morning. I thought I'd have to camp here too, under the law of the United States and Arizona Territory. I've been commissioned as an assistant sheriff. I am placing you under arrest for the murder of three race contestants. Show your hands slowly and get out of there. Depends on the situation, I have the right to execution. Turn this way. Don't lower your hands. You're, I remember, you were in fifth place. It's blood. What are you trying to do? Don't think about anything stupid. The chase ends here. I'd like to concentrate on the race. Huh. So it's a cliff down there. You'd have to go all the way around the briar patch 
to get to the other side on horseback, but I see you would escape during that time. I won't let you get away. Are you coming out, or should I drag you through the thorny bush? This rope, don't be so sure. A uh, hand? What the? This is his fingers. They broke into pieces and slid down the rope like a pulley, and he could move them freely too. This guy could mountain Tim, so we went to the mountain before, and he became a cursed man. To think such a man was following me. But in any case, our victory remains unchanged. Mountain Tim touched that horse's shoe, and he's indirectly touching me. Now it will be finished too. He had two knives? It could. If I remember correctly, his name was Johnny Joestar. I'm surprised. So he was the murderer. Hey, Andre. Hey, LA. I've Change my hoof prints to Johnny's too. And that's the finishing touch. Now we let Mountain Tim go ahead. That cowboy will track down Johnny and Gyra. And when he catches up, the three will pull each other together with their magnetic power. And they'll blow themselves up and splatter their guts out. But I'm surprised Mountain Tim was, was a cursed man though. And there we have it. Another episode a few chapters complete i hope you enjoyed this yes because i did god did no one believed in us god did nice nice okay um yes I'm worried about this series. I was worried that um, that I would be really confident and happy with the first few episodes, and by the time that the series, um, you know, still ball run, when all the characters and all the scenes that are so amazing start to happen, that is when my creation of it or my reading of it. Uh, it's a bit dulled down because I've been doing it and I've been getting bored in my life. And I think this episode is a good example of my quality of videos decreasing. I feel like I haven't really been putting the passion into it like, like the other videos. If you guys, yeah, actually don't even talk about that because... That would make me feel bad. Let me try think. This is a really, I, I was thinking I wanna, I wanna highlight the chapters I find really interesting. And I think th these chapters here where the first stands are introduced, the fighting starts, and it, I'm gonna tell you guys now that from here on out, the quality of the the manga uh, ramps up, so I should be ramping up the quality of my videos. Hashtag respect. Hashtag YouTuber motivation. Hashtag diet Pepsi. Hashtag diet iron iron brew. Guys, go buy yourself iron brew. You know, the the fizzy pop drink, I am brew. And then get a diet version of I am brew. And let me know what you guys think. I think that would be a cool... Um, I don't think I would do it on my channel. channel but like I would, I would enjoy watching um, children uh, tasting famous brands and then the diet version because sometimes there's a small difference but sometimes there's a big difference boom hashtag diet iron brew tastes like bum holes and normal iron brew does not taste like that it's a strange phenomenon 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 normal don't worry it's not a phenomenon, it's a phenomenormal. It's normal. Phenomenormal. 
So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But like, I would, I would enjoy watching, um, children. Watching children, watching children, watching children. Uh...